guys, what's going on on Team Hydra? I'm Who's That Chick, your host for today's video. Now before we get into the topic, you're watching a 50 plus solo gun streak with the IMR, which is one of my favorite guns after the AK. And this is by Hydra Swish, one of our latest members at Team Hydra. So please, everyone. Ah, that's better. Okay, so I was on his channel earlier today and he has some insane gameplay. So if you guys want to check him out, link to his channel will be in the description. Also, if you want to hear or watch more of me, you can always come on down to my channel and <laughs> subscribe. Anyways, today's video is going to be about the holidays. Drinking hot chocolate, warm clothes, cookies from granny, beautiful snow on the ground. I actually scratch that last part out, I fucking hate snow, it's cold as shit in Canada. But all in all, I'm not excited like how I used to be. I'm the type of person that likes to be surprised and stuff like that, but every year for the past six years, I always knew what I was gonna get for Christmas. It sucks, but what sucks even more is finding out the truth about Santa. Now just a little disclaimer, if the existence of Santa is still a thing for you, I strongly suggest you you don't watch this video because I don't wanna yeah, just stop here, just, just stop. Let's rewind the clocks back to when I was eight or so. I was a very clever child, and when things didn't add up, I just knew there was something wrong. And I also had a very, very strong passion for Christmas. Probably my favorite holiday after my birthday, of course. Absolutely loved it, this emoji. Ever since my mom told me that she was the tooth fairy, Things were a little weird around here. I was having a lot of trust issues with her. I was always like, okay, mom, if that's even your real name. As my sister and I got older, she just barely put an effort into like pretending that Santa was real. But the funny thing is, is that we never had a chimney. So how the hell did this old man get into our house? I'm still wondering till this day, but that's besides the point. I usually put out six cookies for Santa. And this one year, Santa just didn't eat the cookies. And I'm just like, mom, Santa didn't eat the cookies. And she's like, oh, he was too full. I'm like, eh. Okay. Surprisingly, neither did my mom or sister give away the whole Santa thing. It was actually my grandma. Oh, grandma. Now, my grandma is very notorious for giving some of the weirdest gifts ever. She's like the type of gift giver where your reaction is like, Oh, gee, thanks, grandma. Or like when you get socks for your birthday, you're like, Oh, socks. Thanks, grandma. But I still love her, though. I was also very handy. So I decided to help my grandma wrap some gifts. And this year, it just so happens that she's sending alarm clocks to everyone. And she's like, hey, wrap this and sign from Santa. I'm like, what? You're Santa? From that year on, it's just Christmas hasn't been the same. After finding out, it was kind of a trend at my school where everyone was so over Santa. They were like, oh yeah, believing in Santa is for babies. Then they look at me and they're like, isn't that true, Shy? I'm like, yeah, they're, they're for wussies. <laughs> But deep down, he still existed in my heart. So yeah, guys, tell me how you were delivered the bad news. Maybe you found out on your own. Also, what's number one on your Christmas list? I'd love to know. And if you don't celebrate Christmas, then happy holidays to all of you. And I will see you guys in the new year. Peace.